Friends, a miracle has happened. It's the 14th of August. We're, what are we, four? Four weeks into the summer holidays? Something like that. And this is the first day that I have had a moment to myself in the house without the children. Milo said he wanted to stay at his child mine a little bit longer today because he was having so much fun and I picked him up too early yesterday. And Ella's gone to her friends for a sleepover and I have got an hour between getting home and leap picking my lot from the childminders and bringing him home, and we're gonna film a video. So you'll know what the video is from the title, obviously, but I've been kind of pushing this back because I had it in my mind as like this insurmountable task. Sometimes when I have an idea for a video, I, I don't know if it's just because I don't know how I'm gonna approach it or I feel like I need to do more prep or whatever, but I just sometimes need to just sit down and do it. And the way I'm gonna do it is not the way I perhaps had seen it happening in my mind, but this is the only way it's gonna happen. I'm not a planned out kind of video person. Uh, but I have been trying various kind of glowy products in the past few weeks, and um, I want to share with you the ones that I really, really like, how I like to apply them, what works together, what works against each other. Uh, I also just received something in um, a random parcel that was completely unsolicited. I don't even know what this brand is. It could be super expensive. I don't know. I will check it out in a second. But I feel like it's come at a weirdly fortuitous time because it's like a very glowy themed product. So we're going to give that a go as well. That'll be a little first impressions. Um, but I'm going to, first of all, go and take off all my makeup. I might have to do that a couple of times in order to show you all the products that I want to show you. But... Um, I'll be back. I'm back and I'm prepared with cleanser and a flannel just in case. In fact, I will definitely have to remove my makeup at least once because I'm going to start with something that I don't think very many products work very well over for me. And that is the Botanics All Bright Radiance Balm. I bought this last month, this month, I don't know. I bought this recently. I showed it in a haul. Um, and I was excited about it because I thought it was going to be similar to some of those brightening balms. Um, you know, like the Clarins, oh, what was it called? The Beauty Flash Balm and uh, Pixie Do One, those kind of like, I don't have one with me because it doesn't really fit into the realms of this. It kind of perks up your skin a little bit, but it's not that, got that kind of like brighter, glowy thing that I'm looking for. But I thought that's what this was going to be. It's not. It is an illuminating radiance balm. So I just didn't know what, I didn't know what to expect. It looks like it's just kind of like a cream, which it kind of is. Let me just flip my mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. I don't know if this is going to show up under these lights, hopefully. I don't really have a lot of options in terms of lighting. It's left behind like a bluish pearlescent sheen. So I've put on a little bit of concealer because unfortunately, I think it's supposed to be something that you'll be able to see this through. You know, there's like other products that are supposed to be like unicorny primers um, that have this kind of blue tint to them. And they're supposed to kind of glow through the products that you put on top, the base that you choose. Unfortunately for me, this just does not work with other products. Like, like if I put a foundation on top of this, it just doesn't look good. It, everything separates, it doesn't work. But I do like the glow that it gives me. And so if I put that on, if it's just like a really easy makeup day, if I put that on, then do a little bit of concealer um, and a little bit of mascara, this would be it. This would be my entire makeup. So I've got kind of already a highlighty something going on. Not everyone's into the whole highlight, let's spend an hour on my makeup kind of jam. Um, and this is a really nice product if you want something quick. A product that does give up some amount of radiance, but does work well underneath foundations is this one. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. Um, this is not something that I use a ton. And historically, I don't love primers. Um, there are very few primers that I have ever tried and really enjoyed, but the original Laura Mercier was really the only one that I've ever used that um, I really felt like it didn't mess with the foundation at all and it helped the foundation adhere to my skin. And so the Radiance one was a no-brainer. Also, can you see the difference? This is kind of a golden glow and that previous one has that like iridescent, like blue, luminous effect. Um, this is just like a similar product, possibly more wearable. Like I say, it is something that you could put on underneath your regular foundation. I don't think it's any point if you're gonna do like a full coverage foundation, unless you're looking for just it as a primer. Um, but if you're gonna, again, do something where you're looking for it to um, help alongside something lighter or just a little bit of concealer, then I think these kind of products are really, really nice. My face is not gonna forgive me for this. I feel like I'm gonna break out on my chin big time after all of this. Apply, remove, apply, remove. So the product that just arrived is this, I think it's called Lumen. Have you ever heard of this brand? I don't know. It was just sent to me by Phil Unique, like I say, completely out of the blue. Um, it's called Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. It is £32.90. 
and the color that I have is Universal Medium, which immediately sounds terrible, but there are four shades. There's only one deep one. Mm. We'll see how pigmented it is. It doesn't look like it's gonna be crazy, crazy light, does it? It also has got quite a strong scent. How do you get product out of something like this? I don't wanna dip my brush immediately into it, but are you supposed to scoop this out? Okay, I used my Beauty Blender. I don't think that's gonna be, unless you have like a scoop to hand, I don't think there's going to be a hygienic way of doing that. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm gonna love this product. Honestly, I don't know. As first impressions go, it's a very expensive product. It's supposed to be, um, it has skincare in some way. I'm sure I read that. Oh, a makeup hybrid that provides an intense boost of hydration as well as a skin perfecting luminosity that catches the light in all the right places. Boasting a fresh gel-like consistency that melts and blends like butter and the tinted lip, tinted lip, no, that was like, what's the word? Um, muscle memory. Tinted cream deeply moisturizes the skin for up to 24 hours. Okay, I will keep you posted on this. First impressions are very expensive, very small amount of coverage. It's very comfortable on the skin. Nice application. Um, I don't know. It was like an honorable mention because it literally just arrived and it felt like kismet. Moving on with our lives, I've got three liquid highlighters at three price points to share with you now. The top end one is this Becca Opal. Now I say top end, but you can actually get this liquid highlighter in this form, little mini, um, and a little mini powder highlighter in Opal as well from multiple different places. I think maybe even Boots now. Anything I can, I will try to link for you below. I realize it's gonna be a super long and rambly video, so it's gonna be easier for you to have a reference points in the description bar. Um, but I bought this in Sephora and now Boots has basically become a mini Sephora. I'm very excited about it. You can actually get these like miniatures um, in multiple different places online. So you can get this plus a little mini for 20 pounds. That's not too bad. Um, and I think you get a decent amount of product. So like I say, this is Opal. I'm gonna show you all three together. This is kind of more like a champagne-y neutral color. Then there's NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator which I absolutely have to get in a different color because this is too bronzy, really. Um, I've been enjoying using it, but I want this in, again, more of a champagne-y color next, I think. I'll get um, even more use from it. And then the Hello Halo, the Mega Glow Hello Halo from Wet n Wild. Um, focus. And the shade I've got in this is Gilded Glow. Gilded Glow. Is there a U in Gilded? Is that a play on words that I'm missing? And this is exactly the color that I want everything in this. In fact, I can't call the first one champagne if I'm calling this one champagne. This is kind of almost, oh, it's just perfect. I love this so much. These three I really, really like. Initially, I was not a fan. I'm gonna show you the Wet n Wild one first. I was not a fan of the Wet n Wild because I felt like it just was not um, applying nicely on my skin. And there were two reasons for that. I was, number one, applying it over quite a dry foundation. And number two, I was applying it with a brush and it just did not blend very well. And since I've applied it with a wet sponge, which I've now discovered everything goes on better with when it comes to anything kind of illuminating. I mean, is that not the prettiest thing in the world? It's not too glittery. Um, I was concerned about that because it's definitely kind of on the lower end budget wise, but it just gives the most beautiful champagne glow and it really is super budget friendly. Now showing you on the other side, the Becca highlighter, it's definitely more subtle. It's not, I mean, I'm putting less on, let me just kind of go a little bit more to town. So I'm comparing the two a little bit fairer. Um, it's definitely more subtle. It's a little bit more kind of grown up highlighter, if you will. Um, and I would say, mm, I mean, it is a, it is a better product. If you look at my pores on each side of my face now, this has given me kind of a really subtle, beautiful glow, but it hasn't accentuated any pores. This side, you can see my pores a little bit more clearly. It has kind of accentuated the texture of my skin. I don't feel like it's quite as bad on this side. It could just be the lighting, the way I'm looking at it. I feel like that is true. Um, this is just a bit more subtle. I think that's the main thing in terms of where I found them to be very, very similar. I've just wiped away that side and applied a little bit more of that base um, just to show you the NYX, which is a lot more on the bronze side, the color that I have. Did I tell you what the color was called? I don't think that I did. I don't think that I know. Again, a really, really similar product. Um, and initially this was definitely my favorite. The problem that I had was I felt like I was using too much of it, I think, because it comes out in a squeezy tube. I was just possibly having a hard time with 
um, kind of metering out the doses. But I think, no, this might be my favourite of the three. Uh, I can't wait to get this in some more colours. And I would love to hear from you guys if you think that you, oh, it's called Gleam. The shade is Gleam. Uh, if you feel like you get a lot out of this product, let me just see. This is 15 mil and, oh, 18 mil. You, you kind of, it seems like the next one's gonna be a lot more than this one now. For those of you who prefer powders, want a more matte look with kind of a glowy cheek, um, I've just put on a bunch more makeup and we're starting over with two of my favorite powder highlighters. One is actually a blush, but we'll get into that because it's one of my all time favorite kind of glow getter products. If you watch any video that even slightly references a glow, since I've had this product probably in the last six years. Um, I will have mentioned this because I love it so much. I'm not talking about anything hourglass. Number one, it is kind of high end um, of the spectrum price wise. The hourglass palette has been talked to death. I still love it. I used it today. It's still one of my absolute favorites, but I feel like we don't need to talk about that, do we? Oh, funny. So the Fenty Beauty highlight has that kind of blue iridescent kind of shimmer that we were talking about. How strange. So this is the Kilowatt duo in lightning dust and fire crystal and it is the lightning dust side that we're interested in today this is nice it's very very sparkly very kind of frosty i've talked about these before um so you can kind of see the two together and one has got that kind of like high frost shiny okay i'm swatching over other swatches so this is not ideal but that kind of high you know what i'm talking about the high shine and then the other one is like more of a subtle which is more what i'm into how i apply this is perhaps a little bit unconven unconventional that's the word i'm looking for but i like it uh, and i use a dense brush like this i use it in the did i say it was the lightning dust side oh i feel like i'm losing product and i buff it in and i think that number one it's a really really nice kind of it's, it's very similar to the dim light from our glass in that it's got that more of a, a sheen than a frosty sparkle, which is definitely what I'm into. Um, and I just think it kind of blends it into the skin a little bit nicer. It's It makes it easier to blend than it does if you're going to go in with like a, a fluffier brush. You've got a bit more control. And I really like it that way. So I'll apply that there. I would also do the down the nose thing because as I said in a previous video... It's youthful. I have been indoctrinated. I don't do the contouring thing. I'm not big on a lot of makeup, you know, Instagram trends, but this kind of glowy situation, it's just youthful. It is. You could, there's no way of getting around it. Uh, and the other one that I want to talk about is Stereo Rose from MAC. Now, I realise this is something that comes and goes. I, I don't keep up with MAC anymore. I don't know what is in and out. I don't know if it's readily available. You'll probably be able to find it on eBay, but that's probably not smart. Um, however, just their powders in general, I think I need to get kind of one of their highlight powders because I don't think I've ever tried another one of these like mineralized skin finishes that's not just the regular powder. Tell me what you would recommend because um, this is really the only one I've ever used. So this is just such a pretty, this was like years before I tried Hourglass, years before I tried anything in the way of highlighter. I mean, that just gave me just the smallest amount I don't feel like I have anything on my skin and it just gave me the most beautiful gleam to the skin. I love it so much. I love it so much. Also, is this a good time to tell you that we don't do a lot of this? That I feel like I have two different faces. It's something to do with the way that my nose is crooked. This is my side. This is the side I'm comfortable with. Just to have a glance through my thumbnails, you will not find me. If you find me doing it this way, I've probably flipped the picture because I have a different face completely. This is the side where I look like myself. And this side, I feel like, who is this? This is the sister I never met. There's, has anybody else got that? What, I'm doing on the wrong cheek. <laughs> um, they, they've just got two completely different sides of faces. I don't get it. So I like that. It gives a really pretty kind of sheen instantly. However, if you look at the two, this does something soft focus. This does like a really flattering, again, talking about the texture in my skin and my pores. It doesn't exaggerate anything. It just kind of glides over, makes everything look beautiful and pretty. This side, it does. It kind of makes me just here. It's got kind of almost a metallic element to it. I do need to perhaps be a little bit more careful now um, about where I apply it, especially like when you're getting up here into like little fine line areas. Um, whereas I feel like with this one, it's a little bit finer a little bit softer, easier to use. Not so much the other half. The other half is frosty, a little bit more like this, but I just, oh, I love it. I love both of them. 
for different reasons. Um, and that is it. That is the video that I have been putting off making because I knew I was going to have to apply the products and I thought it's going to take me days. I know we've done it like this and hopefully it's been useful. Hopefully I've still got across what I wanted to and told you about some products that I really, really love. I would love to hear from you what makeup products you love that give you this, this kind of very healthy, flattering glow. I'm not into the Instagram highlight. I'm just not, I'm not into contour. I'm not really into anything like that, but I like something that you can put on and you're like, yes, I look alive. Um, let me know. And if you didn't already know, all of September is going to be Budget Beauty Month. So if you want to suggest, recommend, request anything that I talk about next month, any particular brands, any particular products, I'm going to be doing a bunch of foundations the first week, I think. Um, or any way that you want me to review products, let me know. Uh, I will try to accommodate as many requests as I can. For now, thanks for watching. I know it's been a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.